So in mother, the TH is what? So how many sounds in the word mother? Mm, uh, mm, er, more. Because we got tricky sounds here. We've got the schwa. We've got the TH, which is a consonant digraph because the TH makes one sound because we don't say ma to her. We don't say those kind of blend. Blends are consonants that flow together. Consonant digress most of the time involve the H. It's THCH, SH, WH, PH. So we have M, uh, R, er. Whenever you have, remember, whenever you have a vowel with an R, it's one sound. Now let's look at this TH a little more closely because the TH can be voiced or it can be unvoiced. TH in a word can be voiced or unvoiced. Let me give you some examples and you tell me what you think would be words that would have a voiced TH or an unvoiced TH. We're doing this analytically rather than me tell you the unvoiced TH sound is and the voiced TH sound is. I'll do that after I let you figure it out. Let's think through this. So what about the word mother? Do you think the th is a voiced or an unvoiced sound? Voice. You think it's a voice? Okay. Because you can hear yourself saying the th mother. Okay? When you say the th in mother, can you hear, feel your tongue vibrating on your top teeth? Your top teeth vibrating on your tongue? Mother, mother, them. There, you feel a vibrating sound. You can also feel it in your throat. Mother. You can feel it and you can feel it in your throat, in your voice box. Mother. Okay? And again, you have to overdo it to be able to break down these sounds. Let's see if you can give me some words that have a TH, but the TH doesn't go. Thought. All right? Thought. Thought. Think of some think, 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 though, 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 thought. Same word, put a letter on the end, it changes the pronunciation. O U G H will do it every time. So, though has a voice th, right? Though. Voice th. And what sound does O U G H have? What do you hear? You just hear, okay, so if I said how many sounds do you hear in the word though? You hear uh and oh, right? It's a consonant digraph, right? It's a voiced consonant digraph. It's the voice TH. And then all you hear is this vowel digraph because when two vowels come together and they have one sound, it's a digraph, so we hear a long O. Do we hear this guy at all? No. Now GH doesn't say anything, it's silent. So in the word though, T-H-O-U-G-H, how many sounds? Have you got that? Okay, you hear the, the consonant digraph, which is voice, and you hear O. Oh. You don't hear this. You hear two sounds. But then we move over here, and we're gonna put the T on the end of it, and it changes it from though to thought. Changes the voice, uh, the voice to an unvoice changes the long O to actually an A-W sound, aw. Do you see why English is so difficult? So can you tell the difference when you say it? I hear conversation, you're trying it out. You can feel this, right? Them, mother, this, that. This, the voice TH is vibration. The unvoiced TH is air. It's a puff of air. Think. And it's up at the top, okay? You've got to have the little air pocket between your tongue and your top teeth with teeth when you're saying think. Third. Third. Because you've got air coming between your tongue and your teeth and unvoiced. And when you say with, you can't feel anything in your throat. Think. Nothing. Think, but you can when you get to the end. So your unvoiced is your puff of air. Your voice is vibration. 
you know, we talk about, you know, you've got to find that thing, to, that word to hook it with. But yeah, voice is vibration. Definitely a way to remember it. And voice is air. Okay, so what about the word both? How many sounds? Three. 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 What are they? B. B. O. 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 Voiced or unvoiced? Unvoiced. Unvoiced. But what happens when I do this? Bother. Bother. It's voice. 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 Does it change the vowel sound that we had in both? Yes. Because we had what? We had a long vowel sound. Both, right? O. Oh. Now it's R. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. So we had B. Long vowel sound, unvoiced th. Now we add two letters, which is a ball CR. Well, it would be voice th. Yeah. And then we now we have ah. Uh, the short o. Short o, because it's the o that says we're not talking about a schwa. So now bow, the long o becomes a short o. The unvoiced th becomes a voice th. And then we stick er on the end of it. Moss is unvoiced. We put ER on it, it becomes mother. Now it's voiced. So if M-O-T-H is mother, why is it B-O-T-H, mother? Mother, father. The only difference is the first letter. But they they have a different vowel sound. Now if we stick an R in here, then it's brother. But if we take the R out, it's father. Same thing. We get confused. Kids get confused. When I had schwa up here a while ago, I don't think, and again, I, except for Schwinn bicycle, I don't think there's another SCHW word in the language, but I don't say, I said I don't think. And why do I say I don't think? Because there are always exceptions. How many sounds are in the word schwa? Three. Okay, is this, okay, we got to figure out, is this a blend or a digraph? It has an S, it has an H, it's probably a digraph. Because you don't hear the, and so you don't hear a blending. So, we have S-C-H. You almost just hear the S and the H sound. So, actually, this C is silent, isn't it? Right. We really just hear SH. So we hear shh, whoop, ah. Three sounds. So SCH says shh. Is that right? What about this? School. SCH can say shh. Or SCH can say the SK sounds good. We said digraphs are what? Two letters, one sound, right? We've been doing all the consonant digraphs. Vowel digraphs. Two vowels together, one sound. So the word boat, consonant digraph. That kind of fits the way two vowels for walking, the first does the talking. That's a vowel digraph. Two vowels together, one sound. Whether it's the first or the second vowel that makes the sound, what pi? P-I-E, you hear one vowel sound. Two vowels together, one sound is a vowel digraph. Some of these, and the O-O, we talked about the long O-O and the short O-O, that's a vowel digraph, but it doesn't exactly follow, the, but it either has to have a long O-O or the short O-O, we talked about that before, okay? But two vowels together, one sound is a vowel digraph. Now, if we have two vowels together and we hear two sounds, that's a diphthong or a vowel blend. We talked about consonant blends where the consonant sounds blend together. The diphthong is like a vowel blend where the vowel sounds blend together. So instead of the O-W having a long O sound, it has an owl sound. So you kind of, you can kind of hear, you really can't hear the O and the W, but you hear a blended sound. Right. They call it a glide. It's sometimes called a glide sound. When you have two vowels that don't just have one long sound or a short sound, they have a 
a gliding sound? Like oil. Like now, oil. cow, oil, O-I is a diphthong because you have two vowel sounds that glide together. Like foil, oi, foy, house, the O-U can be a vowel digraph. But we don't say it always is because see, the O, W, and no is a vowel digraph because it makes a long sound, one sound, right? Do you hear the W at all in the word no? The W is acting like a vowel there, but it's a silent vowel. So we don't even hear it. So we hear two sounds in the word no, right? Because we don't hear the K. So K and O, W sounds just like N, O. So those words would be homonyms or homophones. We put a K on the front of now, and it becomes no. So you're going to have kids that are trying to go canal. Well, no, because the K is usually silent. We haven't got silent letters yet. But, so we never say always. It goes by the sound. That's what we started with. It goes by the sound. <coughs> so, if the O-W has an owl sound, but see, O-W can have an owl, but O-U also has an owl. But then if we look at the word rough, R-O-U-G-H, is the O-U a diphthong, vowel blend, or is it a vowel digraph? The O-U in rough. Does it glide together? Do you hear Di owl? Do you hear O? Or do you hear up? Uh? Uh, you hear up, uh, don't you? It makes a short U sound. But it's two vowels, one sound. You're not hearing the first one, you're hearing the second one. There's the exception to when two vowels go walking, the first does the talking. Except, you don't hear the O in rough. You hear the U making a short sound. It's a short U because it's a one syllable word. It can't, remember, it can't be a schwa sound unless there's more than one syllable. If there's one syllable, it's a short U. That's why you can use your books and your notes and I'm going over all of this so you're not stressed out on the test. <laughs> And you have two hours and there's only 20 some questions. So it'll all be good. All right? Let's end with the word mnemonics. How many syllables? Three. Mnemonics. Three. Three. Let's see where we would divide them. Where would you divide it? The E and the N. After the E. And the N and the I. Mnemonics. Mnemonics. If we put it there, that would make that O have a long sound. And it's not mnemonics. Okay? Uh -huh. Mnemonics. So how many sounds are in mnemonics? So is that not where you divide it? <clears throat> that is where you divide it. Yes, yeah, if you put it here, oh. that would make it an open syllable and M-O says mo, not ma. Right. All right? We'll talk about open and closed syllables on Monday. So, okay, but you've got three letters with a vowel in the middle, that's a short sound. So, me, mon, x. How many sounds? Eight. 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 Don't go mani. It's okay. Now tell me a silent letter. This is silent, right? Right. All right. So, uh, oh, then, nah, uh, uh. What's that? A schwa. It's a schwa because it's not a long or a short e. So we've got mm, uh, mm, ah, mm, e, k, s. Eight. 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 Yes. Isn't it fun? Okay. Let's stop there. Let's take a deep breath. And we'll pick up the rest of it on Monday.